Nature gave us a wide range of compounds that can be utilized to help combat health problems, ranging from diabetes to anxiety. But sometimes with overprocessing, those advantages are diminished or lost. Food tech company Nutrition Innovation has developed a range of new approaches to harness and retain the naturally occurring diversity and quality of bioactive compounds efficiently and effectively. As Sandy Kay reports, their licensed technology is scalable and can be retrofitted to existing food, sugar and ingredient production plants. If you believe we are what we eat, then we should all be eating lots of garlic and loads of apples all the time. Garlic is highly anti-inflammatory and although an apple contains 10% sugar, they are both naturally complex. However, once they're refined and over-processed, they both lose their natural compounds and that's where the issue lies. At its most simple level, Nutrition Innovations technology aims to bring us all back to the basics and to cut sugar content as well. The purpose really is around about the, the, the growing incidence of diabetes. I mean, over 500 million people around the world now with diabetes and uh, preventing it's become a real issue. So I started focusing more on, well, what can we do? So if not me, who? And if not now, when? David Canner is Nutrition Innovations founder, chairman and chief scientific officer. So Nutrition Innovation it was pulled together to uh, roll out a whole lot of science that uh, will help protect against diabetes and obesity and um, make the world a healthier place through just unlocking the power of natural bioactive compounds. The company's first product to market was the all-natural low GI sugar Nucane, the good sugar, which had been proven to slow down the absorption of sucrose by about 20%. That was where it started. We've now have now developed more technology to actually reduce sugars significantly. What we're working on now is an evolution into the uh, Nucane Life products. Uh, they are a, um, a more of a porous sugar so that it allows you to um, get substantial uh, sugar reduction. So it's the same volume. That technology is being rolled out. It's a clean label solution uh, with protein and fibre in with the sugar to be able to get sugar reduction but also get the same volume and then, then um, allow companies to be able to achieve sugar reduction, significant sugar reduction up to 70%. Uh, but we're also focusing on the, um, the, this, the NIX powder, NX powder, and that's this intense um, uh, nutrient powder that allows us to be able to feed the microbiome. Um, interestingly, sugars and carbohydrates feed our gut microbiome and then allow those other benefits from, um, from prebiotics and probiotics. And so we're working in those areas, which are exciting. Uh, allows food companies to be able to take that gut brain access forward and do something about it. So, but cost effectively, that's, that's always underpinning what we, what we try to do to make it affordable and not prohibitive. The idea of this technology is to unlock the power of these natural phytochemicals, the natural polyphenols uh, in, in, our, in our bodies. Uh, but to be able to not refine them out of foods, but also to be able to not play around with them too much. Mother Nature is a great inventor, and so we're just unlocking the power of these, these polyphenols. So if I look at um, nutrition in innovation from the perspective of an investor, the investor will look at it and say, meet the people. Do I back the people who are, who are running nutrition innovation? And we've had some very good conversations with uh, the founders as well as uh, the board of uh, nutrition innovation. So to us, that's, that's quite attractive. The product itself um, has a number of patent protection points. It's got great partners that it's, um, that it's announced, both with Schneider on the production side, but also on the partnership side in the end market. So for example, CSR in Malaysia um, is my understanding. And then thinking about the actual product itself, does it do what it says in the tin? Is it baked beans? You know, does it say, does it have the benefits um, that it talks about? And from what we've seen, it does seem to have those benefits as well. That's what makes a difference to, to the investors. So it's, a, it's an important proof point to have these sorts of partnerships. Yes, so Dr. Greg Sito and, uh, and myself were the, the founders, but we've got a wonderful team and a, a great uh, network of partners. Uh, Foss, Schneider, as I said, uh, GEA, um, uh, great companies like that all over the world and a lot of licensees now uh, in, uh, in, com in countries like uh, you know, Southeast um, Asia, uh, Malaysia, uh, Africa, um, Brazil, and so, yeah, all over the world. Schneider Electric's Craig Roseman was immediately impressed with both the company and the technology. 
one of the key things that I really like about it is you don't need to have major capex to uh, have to build brand new infrastructure, brand new facilities to be able to leverage this technology. The retrofitting of this technology is actually uh, quite low risk in, in terms of uh, what a company has to sink into in terms of some costs to, to get the um, uh, projects up and going, but the benefits are very high. We're co-developing a lot of this uh, technology or for the solutions as we go, uh, introducing new ideas and, and making it scalable for customers to also adopt and to grow with the solutions. And how affordable is it? It's very affordable. In, in fact, we're actually able to bring greater cost savings in terms of efficiency through automation that is actually able to reduce their cost of manufacture. So it's a sort of a double whammy in terms of it actually brings cost benefits and it opens up new markets. So it's a very big business opportunity. It's what customers want. It's what the industry needs. And it's just the right way to go. It's a win-win-win.